Let's go and have a check on Celtiberio, and we can see the effects that uh, Magna Gracia is having. And they're going in with 162,000 men in two armies. Okay. Doesn't seem to be working out for them. I mean, there's a negative one, but then again, there's a plus one for the uh, general. He went in with a shit tactic, and he's getting really badly bruised here. He's got... He's trying to tie off the reinforcements, which is a very smart idea. Uh, so these guys should now go and attack here, perhaps. Um, Tactic-wise, you're not going to be able to change it because there's a level 9 here already. Um, but you could change it and then retreat these guys, and then these guys will be involved. Oh, actually, apart from the fact that you're being attacked. Okay. And again, you didn't change it. You've still got envelopment being attacked by shock action. You're just being... Honestly, I'm going to say outplayed. I think Celtiberi is just being outplayed. It's not... It's not really anything else here. Mm. In single player, I tend to use light infant, light cav camels, depending on where I am in the world. For sieges, I'll use that. Like, you see that a lot in my um, game as Bactria. I'll have these siege stacks around. And they can also double up as, like, uh, governor armies to... Oh, sorry, provincial armies to keep unrest down in new conquests. But, as a general rule, I don't use them for, like, combat. Alright. Um... I nominate Macadon as my substitute in diplomatic affairs, like with peace negotiations while I'm not in the game. Rather have them negotiate with him than the AI. Uh... Sure, go tell Pissuria that. Not up to me. Um, the AI fighting the AI, then you know they got to they got to deal with their shit. It's not it's not my it's not my place. It's not my problem. Hey, look at this very influential Albion army, doing really well, sitting on his ass doing nothing. Gotta love it. Has Albion got any more troops around the place? Uh, it looks like maybe he fought some rebellion here already, and it's already over. Maybe. Starch Tech, unfortunately, lagging behind. He's probably crashed. Uh, yes. Hello. Yeah, I crashed. Yeah, yeah I, I thought it might be the case. I'm restarting to uh, make sure that doesn't doesn't happen again, but I'll be back as soon as I can. All right, you're probably going to need to quit Steam because you're technically still in the game. Oh, is that what? I was wondering what was going on. Okay. All right, yeah, I'll just do a... Yeah. All right. Eh, no problem. Yeah, so... Yay! It's just one of those days. We've had some really good runs with very few problems, but now it's just... Blah. Manpower is an issue in single player. Yep, no, you don't need to really build any manpower buildings. Um... Just shit tons of slave factories. Lambert has a playthrough going on in Bacteria if you want any ideas on how to play it. Yeah, go go plug my shit. Also, I'm going to pop a pause in while we wait for Star Trek to get out of the game. Alright, so Star Trek is now left. He is now AI. I'm hoping Numidia doesn't use his AI-ness to make peace. I really hope that's not the case. Um... It seems like the Numidian navy is, is just going to sit outside where these Albion troops are. Uh, the third navy. Let's be. Let's make sure we're uh, clear here. Um, where they are. Yeah, not great. So we're going to get uh, we're going to get Star Trek back in soon enough. But it's not looking good for a Star Trek in Celtiberia. Not good at all. Um, so, how's it going for Pissuria? They have once again crossed the Danube. They've got a massive army. 166,000 men. But Macedon isn't defenseless. They've still got some fairly large stacks around as well. And it looks like as well, Thrace has, as the AI, crossed the Danube and beaten back the 22nd War Horde. Which should be 39 cohorts. Fucking hell. That should be 10. This one should be 39. It's down massively. Um, Stymphalia has bought some mercs. Okay. Thrace is now going into Pontus. As AI, they look to be quite a bit more aggressive. 
Uh, so yeah, if the Antigonids and Thracians can push south at the same time that the Egyptians push north, this can all be encircled. Let's let's use the Hoy term, or I guess it's a military term, but like they'll be encircled, and unfortunately that does actually nothing. Hey, Taho, thank you very much for the Ninja Gini, my man. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. All right, how's it going over in this area? Nothing happening, fair enough. Um, yeah, I'm not really rating the chances that uh, Celtiberia has, especially now that they're AI. Um, yeah, that's uh, it's not great. Um, they're probably changing a bunch of policies. I imagine they're probably changing more shit as well. Unfortunately, I can't change this, so whatever Star Trek was looking at last is what I look at. So, I can't tell what uh, kind of units he's got as his troops for his retinues. Can't just can't tell. No idea. Got too many diplomatic relations. Uh, because it's changed him to Bellica's stance. Great. Uh, he's probably fucked up missions and stuff. It's just, it's just a whole shit show when the AI takes over. It's going to be the same for Thrace. Uh, speaking of, I missed a big battle where the Thracians and probably the Macedonians as well, especially 143,000 men, uh, send the uh, the Thracian hordes packing. In fairness, this is a lot of light infantry, which you can imagine are kind of shit at fighting things. Um, but yeah, having them both come in here is going to be pretty difficult to deal with. Um, I don't think they've made any kind of progress at all. This is all unfortified, so I guess they really need to take Ramitha. Um, from there, they can then attack Poseidon Saigon. Nice. Uh, and Bargilus Mons, and then they can force peace. Although, with the Antigonids taking this, they're probably never going to have the, uh, the war goal, which is going to really royally fuck them. They're never going to be able to force the peace until this war is ended. Uh, so it's a bit dodgy. A bit dodgy indeed. Uh, Thracians lost a battle, but they're going to go in and fight here, maybe. They're probably going to lose. Like if, the, if this was a player, he'd probably go here and then attack there instead. Uh, battle here, though. That's a decent fight. Uh, and yeah, light cab versus horse archers. It's always going to go one way. Always. Um, so I'm waiting for a Star Trek to try and join back in. Hopefully he will start doing it soon. Again, we've got two war leaders that are currently not in the game. And that's really shit. That's not something anyone wants. Um, let's have a look from the Babylonian perspective. Because, like I said, they've got, they've got troops all around here really trying to prevent the... Uh, the Egyptians from making an advance. They've got enough men. They've got plenty of men to cover any sort of assault. Uh, with a lot of reserves as well. Lots of uh, Parthians here to ready to help out. I think they've got this covered. I don't think there's going to be any more advancing. I don't know how well it's going to go, but I'm sieging Babylon. Thank you for the... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that was the Egypt player. Um... So, Babylon does notice. He has noticed. He's coming in. Mr. Streamer. Hello there. I believe rules have been broken. By whom? Oh, wait. Never mind. Fair enough. Wait, Maybe. Wait, I, um, I reckon think... it was actually the... Because it's AI. Um, what was... Wait, did what... they... Wait, wait. Well, I, I'm still trying to get back in, but... Uh, um... I believe... I was gonna, I was gonna come complain of being false white pieced out, but I think it's actually just because AI. Well, uh, Mauritania has gained a bunch of land, but they're still at war with you. Yeah, um, Mar that was from Entice Governor, but I just got white pieced out. Um, I was gonna come complain about it being uh, because of the dodgy right, false piece, but uh, I think it's actually. Um, because they just white pieced with the AI. No, Celtiberia is still at war with Namidia. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, in that case, um, I got fast white pieced out the war. All right. Let me go find whoever it was. 
Who would it have been? Uh, Hans uh, Gruber. Numidia. I assume Numidia, because yeah. Numidia was the target. Yeah. Hey, did you people. did you send Arvernia a white peace offer? Yes. Um, did you notice that it was going to be enforced? No, I thought he just accepted it. No, that's a forced white piece. Which is against the rules. Oh. Yeah. Oh, piss. It's really hard to tell, so I don't blame you for not noticing. Yeah, I thought they were pretty sick of it, really. Yeah, I can imagine, but... Yeah, fuck. But what can you do? Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to decide now. Like, what do I do about this? Because, like... Where, where... Yeah. Did you peace out Albion as well? Yeah, fuck. Yeah. I won't tell you to white peace Caldeviri, because that's, at the same time, not fair. But at least for... <laughs> Be be gentle because I mean, in fairness, you've you did just break the rules to peace out his allies. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Sorry. No, that's right. I don't blame you. Like I said, that it's really shitty the way it does that. Is Kalabir coming back? He is coming back in. But yeah, I'd I'd basically say don't be too harsh in the peace deal for that reason. Yeah. Alright, I'll put you back in. Yeah. He had no idea that he'd broken the rules, he thought you'd accepted a white piece. Uh, which is yeah. really shit. Yeah, that's that's uh I don't even, I mean, like, honestly, like, I feel like at this point, he'd be, so, I, all right, I know this is the case. I, my war score was at 65% um, yeah. when I crashed, so I would be willing to give him a 30% peace deal, which is what he could enforce right now, uh, but, like, no more than that, and I feel like the fact that he forced peace out two of my allies is, like, already doing even that is kind of generous. Um, I would like to put in that uh, ignorance of the rules is not an excuse. No, I agree with that. Yeah. Um, I'm joining in. I just sent in a request to join. So, uh, I mean, uh, alternatively, like, I mean, it's obviously highly in my favor, but if you were forced to white piece with me, that would also, um, I would also appreciate that. I would also say that, uh, I'm not going to force him to white piece. I did tell him to be lenient because he broke the rules. I mean, then it's then it should be he can send me a 32% peace deal and no more. I don't know, know what that is. You know what? I think 30% is fair. Yeah. All right. Hey, so when Star Trek crashed, he was at 60 something percent peace. 69. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 30% peace deal. Um, is that I mean, I, I think that's fair. Yeah, right, I'll have a look now. Alright. So would that be like a province each or something? Um, I mean, he's got multiple provinces where he's only got one territory in the south. Oh, I see, yeah. Um, but, like, yeah, just as long as you don't go over 30, I'd say please don't take his capital as well, because, I mean, yeah, that would be really capital. shitty. I'm just trying to be fair to both sides. Because, I mean, he did attack you, That I understand that, but at the same time, like, he, he crashed and you've pieced out his allies, it's shit all round. Yeah. yeah, I'll have to remember that for the future. I really, I think it's stupid that, you know, white pieces can be enforced. I don't like that at all. Yeah, it needs taken out of the game, really. Yeah. I'll probably get Starcher Tech to uh, code that in. Yeah. Nothing to All do right, with. All right, 30% peace deal he's agreed to. Okay. Uh, I am... I haven't got anything back from you about a, a hot join request. Uh, it was my Steam was not logged in somehow. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> That's... I don't... Yeah. 
it should work now, but it's going to take a sec. It's uh, reloading Imperator at the moment. All right. Yeah, I also told him not to take your capital as part of it. Okay. I mean, like, yeah, I guess if he's doing a 30% peace deal with my AI, that's weird. But, I mean, as long as it's actually 30%, I'm fine with it. Um, yeah. Well, if you can get back in in time, then I guess it'll be with you. Yeah. Yeah, this didn't go really very well for the for the barbarians, did it? It was going okay, and then Magna Gracia decided to get involved. Well, they got yeah, involved because I mean, Etruria peaced out. Yeah. We, we needed to attack a little bit earlier, but... Uh, yeah, because well yeah, that's when Fofire Crash was right before we were about to attack. <laughs> and we just kind of sat there, like, surrounding it, making it very obvious. So Numidia, Numidia was prepared. Yeah. Uh, and then really it's just, like, the Numidian elephants are just utterly insane. Like, yeah. Elephant like, counter and just... use are really good. Yeah, that needs to be changed, but, yeah. Some more reasonable numbers would be great. Well, it should be It should be that the type of retinue you have affects their size. So elephants oh, yeah. cost more, so you have less elephant. Like, it would also fix, like, supply problems and things for elephant retinues anyways. Like, it would just make a lot more sense. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah. Oh, hello, guys. Hello there. Are you oh, here to brag so about nice. your glorious contribution? <laughs> Honestly? I <laughs> oh, like 30k uh, troops and then... <laughs> in all fairness, I mean, I thought the majority of fighting was going to happen in Arvernia land. And then at Lambert, if you were the, you know, I mean, observer that you are, you'd have noticed that Numidia had a fleet. Oh, we missed something like that. Oh, and I couldn't actually come down and help. Mm -hmm. See, he's like going about this now. I have even my new little thing in Discord. <laughs> weak helper. <laughs> <laughs> very, very weak. Also, um, I would like to sit, put on the record that uh, just for anyone else who's thinking about declaring... Um, if you don't have land access with the place you're declaring war on, it's probably not a good thing. Yeah, start to make a mod. Come yeah. on. A bridge mod. What did yeah. he go to war for? Uh, Betonia, Merida, blah, blah. Yeah, it's, it's half a province. I mean, it was a good war goal. It was one fort and, like, mostly surrounded. And there was one piece of land that was, uh, I think, even in my fort zone. So that's why we kept it contested for so long. But, uh... But yeah. If you can hurry up and get back in, that'd be great, though. Hey, Lambert, it might um, take good. As much as I can. <laughs> Is your tech. I don't I fucking know. Nah, it's wank. What are you chatting, yeah? I am fourth yeah. on the scoreboard. Cool. What's up, Iggy? Uh, so I'm not sure if uh, if I got attacked by a naval superiority CB, can I enforce peace on him somehow, like by, by the rules? Uh. There's no rules that say it, but there's yeah. also no. He's he's kind of got you there, but he's not going to be able it's... to take much land either. No, but he can just stay at this war forever. That's the thing. Um, I mean, he he'd get a call for peace at sixty six percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my capital is getting starved out by this. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. I mean, there's no, there's no rules about it. All right. All right. Wrong person. There we go. Hello. Uh, let's unmute you. There you go. Yeah. What's your I'm, percentage? Uh, sixty percent right now. Okay. So. And we've got Maria versus Boja now as well. Hey, what's up, Judas? Can we end the session? Yeah, it's been so unstable, which is really annoying. Yes. Yeah. The thing is, not all been the same people either. It's just fuck. Well, it was always like the phrase 
Go yeah, on. but he's not joined in again. But I mean, like, he was, like, always the last year since 2. Alright, I'm back in. Two. I'm not touching anything. Alright, unpausing. I mean, like, the guys at this seat are, like, the usual ones. Uh. Yeah, true. I don't know. We're gonna have to have a chat about it afterwards, but not now. So, are, like, are they gonna send me a peace deal? Because they appear to just be continuing to try and, like, 100% war score. Um, and, like, I would finish. go and, you know what, I'll... Mm, go into a chat with them and I'll come and join you, I guess. Okay, sure. Um, we're ending 15 minutes then, right? I'm finally back, so can you... Uh, are you gonna send me a peace deal? Am I gonna send you one? Yeah, I'll, send I'll send you a peace deal. Hold on. And then 30% is the max. Yeah, I know. Lambert told me. Okay. All right. I kind of appreciate not being fully sieged at the moment, given that I've been out of the game for a while. And also, y'all forced peace to out my allies when I crashed. Like... Well, yeah, well, we figured you were gone, so we just pieced them out so they wouldn't take any more punishment. Why would you think that? Like, I just crashed. Like, the game lagged for a while, and then I crashed. Because like, you no. disappeared a few times before due to internet issues, so I just right, assumed. Right, because I crashed, at which point the player, like, okay, whatever. I mean, like, I, like yes, you so, won the war. Congratulations, but, like, this but is, your like, history ridiculous. doesn't lead to the current circumstances I've that's why we assumed gone. you were gone i sent you the peace deal it's 30 percent. i think it's fairly fair and yeah i apologize for that i didn't actually know that they would do that i thought they'd get the choice all right I mean, now okay. we know now we know don't we yeah no no we do all right thanks of salt all around.